blah blah stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the templates. Start off with Bant. Then we're going to come into or later, which is going to give us our analysis. Followed by the prep phase and the negotiation phase. So quickly scrolling down, the whole thing looks to be good. And the options I've got here, if I go down to the bottom, are to save or to finalize. Now we can't actually use the thing until we finalize it. Let's go with that. So the campaign is now finalized. Uh, I have a lead over here which I've just created, um, which is pointing towards this campaign. XYZ company. Believe it or not, they're a real company. I've actually changed the, 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 the um, chief exec's name in the thing. I couldn't remember what it was originally, but they are based in Sao Paulo in Brazil. It's a very strange example. So, I picked up on the lead. Um, we're going to accept this to work on it. Uh, in terms of assignments, I'm just going to probably... I don't know if I've got the sales privileges in this. I'm going to assign it to myself for easy use. Um, click on myself as the owner it makes life a little bit easier I guess and having done the assignments I can now click on the qualify button and here we go we can see the band qualification coming in the first three items are the um, IDS mandatory so budget I've no idea what the software costs the 20,000 save put some date in that's direct sale because I'm taking it on so here we go here's the understanding of the budget um, she's actually the decision maker she runs the company but she talks to a lot of other people but we'll, we'll do it like that How well do we understand their requirements? Save that one down there. And how well does it fit in? Yeah, we'll say this. Again, these are purely random answers. I have no idea how they're scoring. And the thing is, the lead, we can't see the scoring anyway. So I've saved that now. So we've got probably a qualification, which is fairly sound. Obviously, you can add extra stuff in. Our next thing is we're going to promote it to a deal, um, create a new contact, makes it easy if I just click on that, that, let that one go. And we've got a registered deal now. Moving to analyze, or analyze phase, um, we've got all of these questions which we thought about for sooner. There's a look down, the scoring is working. So we've got two scorings here we've got the scoring which in this bit is based purely on the analysis section um, and then I've got a 36% scoring which is based on both qualification and analysis let me just um, carry on um, pretty again I'm just hacking this through at random hmm looks a bit weird there um, It just formats the screen a bit weirdly. Again, another multiple choice. Probably doesn't make sense. Again, some more long answers which completely mess up the whole. Oh, interesting. Just kind of jump down there.
So in terms of the analysis phase, I've ended up with a score of 48, which is equivalent to 47 percent. And in terms of our total score, based on what we've done, we're at 53 percent. So that's the analysis done thus far. If I go into prep, again, we've only got four questions here. Yeah, the multiple choices do a bit weird things with the overall weighting and the score. So I've only come up with where we're twenty five percent here, but uh, again, that gives us this. And then assuming we've we've moved through into negotiation, again we've got the mandatories here. We'll leave that at pending. So you can see the way the, the way the waiting does weird things to, to the question. So we've got 62% at the end of the day, 66% um, in the negotiation phase. Now hopefully that gives you an idea of the way it, it should work. Again, all of this is entirely it should be reviewed, rebalanced, and all of the good things. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Um, if not, just get back in touch. Thanks. It, but at the end of the day, it does prove the thing is working.